Hi everyone, today I'm going on a hike through the center of Lisbon, 20 kilometer. It's not a fixed hike, so I'm just gonna be seeing what I come across and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go. I'm in preparation, as you guys know, of my great hike from Amsterdam to Marrakesh. So I have to make some kilometers. We're gonna see what's there to see today. So here at the end of the street we can see the military museum. It's located in the 16th century shipyard. The museum has one of the world's biggest artillery collections and offers a great display of guns, pistols and swords. Even the sword that belonged to Vasco da Gama is on display. Here we see the Santa Polonia station, the oldest station in all of Portugal and a great stop if you decide to visit the Alfama neighborhood. Came up closer to the museum just to inspect the doors and the walls because they look so amazing. Look at the detail. I, I really love the blue colors on the whites. Hiking through the traditional side streets here of Alfama. Just looking at the colors, the plants, there's so much to see here in Alfama. And if you, fi if you ever find yourself in Alfama or if you're planning a trip to, to Lisbon, I, I highly recommend this neighborhood. And for me, the most beautiful piece of architecture is the, is the Lisbon Cathedral, which uh, finds itself in Alfama as well. So uh, don't forget to check it out when you're in Alfama. It's a great place to eat as well, so you won't go hungry. Many restaurants, bars, you can just get a drink, catch up with your friends or meet new people. And there's also many tourist shops for the people at home, so they don't miss out. You can buy nice stuff. And uh, yeah, it's just a fun atmosphere here. Here we see the Museum of the Fal, or in Portuguese, the Museu do Fal and it was born in the 1820s here in Lisbon. There are many Fado houses, in Alfama especially, and Bairro Alto, if you want to see a live show. Tuk-tuks are a great way to explore the city, and the guide can tell you about everything you pass by. Just hiking out the neighborhood, but not before passing my favorite parts of Alfama, the Lisbon Cathedral. You can just look at it endlessly. And we have Line 28, the famous tram, which makes a stop here in front of the cathedral, if you decide to just get off and take a look. Continuing the hike and heading to Rua Augusta. Here in front of us, we see the Arco da Augusta which behind lies the Praça do Comercial, through which I went on my way to Cais do Sodre. Pink Street here, where the evenings turn into night. There's a lot of bars, restaurants, and of course nightclubs. And continuing further as I was hiking, up the stairs to Bairro Alto. Not without reason, it's called Bairro Alto, which in Portuguese means a high neighborhood. A beautiful square here in Bairro Alto, where even the trams are in traffic jams. And statues like these are found throughout the city. Beautiful statues. Now continuing my hike towards my first park, I've actually visited quite a few parks in this hike and really found a few hidden gems, I must say, which I will show you later in the video. Really doesn't get boring to hike through Lisbon because there's so much to see. 
like this beautiful Basilica da Estrella. Wow. And the blue background really does it good too. Well, this is the first park I visited uh, during my hike, the Guerra Junquero. And you can find yourself in amazement by its greenness, it's really lush. And there's also a place to, you know, get a drink, some refreshments, coffee or beer, whatever you like. It's one of my favorite places, I must say. Now, continuing to my next park, because I really love parks, as you may notice, uh, but not before passing the, the cemetery. It's also a final destination of uh, line, uh, tram line 28. And I finally made it to Parque das Necessidades, or Tapa das Necessidades, das Necessidades. This is a great place. It's really tranquil. There's not a lot of people, probably because it lies a little bit out of the city center. As you can see, there's not many people, just some geese chilling and crossing the road. The only negative I would say is the planes coming in like every, every five minutes or so. Apart from that, it's great. Hope you're liking the video. Taking a quick rest in the park of Necessidades. On 10 kilometers now. So we're gonna be heading back soon, passing some other must-see spots, I believe, in the city. Every spot here in the city is a must-see spot, to be honest. And I'm really enjoying this park of Necessidades, the tranquility after walking through the busyness of the city center. And I would really recommend this place to read a book or just to enjoy the nature. Let's carry on. And here's the hidden gem I was telling you guys about. It's called the Miradoro do Larco das Necessidades. And it's a viewpoint which provides a great view over the River Tages and the 25th April Bridge. And you can also see the Cristo Rey in the background. As you guys can see, there's not a tourist to be spotted here. So I was very curious and I checked it on TripAdvisor and there's so few reviews about this place. And I mean, just look at the view you get here. Wow. So this is one big recommend recommendation I can give you. Uh, if you just want a chill evening and see the sunset here in Lisbon. I mean, uh, it's just really tranquil, great views, all you need for a good chill evening. So just continuing my hike now on the way to uh, the Botanical Garden of Lisbon, Jardim Botanico de Lisboa. And here we see some high palms beside the Museum of Natural History. What's an amazing building. And beside the museum, there's the Botanical Garden. Uh, there's a five euro entrance fee, but it's, it's really well worth it. What I would recommend though, is that you, uh, if you decide to visit the Botanical Garden, to uh, arrive at least uh, like one and a half hours before closing times and the park closes at 8 p.m. So one and a half hours would be plenty to, to just explore and sit on a bench. If you go with someone, have a chat. There's a great variety of plants and flowers. And uh, it's just really beautiful.
what I really like so much about Lisbon is that there's a lot of small parks and just places where you can sit, have a coffee, have a beer. And beside these parks, there's always a playground for kids to have fun and play around while their parents are just chilling on the terraces. And it, it creates a very atmospherical, happy atmosphere, I must say. Here I'm on the Avenida da Liberdade. It's a great big avenue and on the northern part of the avenue we have the, the great big uh, roundabouts, the Pombao. And on the south side we have Rocio Square. So here I'm hiking up north to the towards the roundabouts of Pompao, Marcus Pompao. Here you see the statue of Marcus Pompao, which is in the center of the roundabouts. And behind uh, that lies this beautiful park of Eduardo VII. Here I'm just hiking through the park, enjoying the views. Some old buildings, which I came across during my hike back. And now I'm almost on the 20 point, 20 kilometer point mark. just enjoying the architecture throughout the city. It makes me really, really happy to just walk around through the city of Lisbon. So that was it for today, guys. Got the 20 kilometers in. Hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care.